I, I was uh, constantly asking that did the, do they have sufficient resources and I think they were you know the, the security services were having trouble recruiting at the scale of the resources that they have because there has been a huge uplift in the resources made available for human intelligence I mean the the Anderson review looked at um, ways to improve detection and it's not all about resources it's about modernizing the way those resources are handled and it's about getting the services to open up a bit about the, the names that they have because in the past they've been quite closed about sharing them with local enforcement so what we would proposed um, from through the Anderson review was trialing a number of closer relationships with targeted areas on the names that were under review out of 20,000. There's a few there that you know, haven't been active for a long time that if you were able to open up with local policing about that they could look for other triggers and they already have a system, for instance, looking, um, you know, uh, paedophiles who've come out of jail who are then sort of monitored occasionally on a sort of watch list. So opening that up and using our resources differently so we can spot it um, I think is one of the things that we have been able to learn from the very unpleasant series of attacks in 2017. There is actually a learning there of how we can do it better and getting um, the services to share a bit more of those names with local organisations in a piloted way is one of the outcomes that I think will make a difference.